Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Saturday morning V business building model. I'm Brian Delmas, if you don't know me. And if you guys could turn on your cameras, that'd be great. Uh, I'm going to start this morning with just a little bit of content, understanding momentum and what momentum is, um, especially inside of network marketing. You guys have probably all seen, um, I forget what this is called, when you have the series of like five balls and it click, 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 and it just keeps going and going and going. It's a physics, a little physics um, uh, I guess you'd call it an experiment where it shows you the power of momentum. And what we really want to talk about is momentum inside of network marketing. What is momentum, number one? But more importantly, what is it inside of network marketing? Because the Vive business, whether you guys realize this or not, is in momentum. And you're either a part of it or not, but we want to get you in harmony with the momentum we've created here. Because if you understand network marketing companies, when they catch momentum, this is where the fire and the fun. I see Warner shaking his head because he's, he's seen this. He's been in the industry for multiple decades. And it's, um, there's nothing like a network marketing company on fire. When they're in momentum, this is where all the, the, the thousandaires and millionaires and, and um, just where all the, the amazing growth cycle of the company is. But what I want you to understand is a little bit about what momentum is. And it's not some crazy, mysterious force that we can't control. When you understand what it is, you can actually create it, right? So momentum is actually, if you look at it here, momentum or P is, is mass times velocity, right? Momentum is mass times velocity. And you don't have to understand physics or physics equations to understand this. I'm going to break it down a little bit. So mass is you, <laughs> right? Anything, any physical thing is a mass. And velocity just means movement, in movement, right? So inside of network marketing, when, when they talk about catching momentum, what you need to understand is that mass is just a different form of energy. I want you to think about this. You are just a form of energy. Everything in the universe is energy, including mass itself. It's just in a different form. So momentum is actually energy in motion. Emotions. If you guys, if you guys have heard of the word emotion, that's what this is. And we're not taught any of this stuff in school. So a lot of people just say, oh, I, my emotions are running away with me. It's like, no, you're just not a master of your mind. You don't understand emotions. We want to teach you guys to start to master your emotions and understand what you're doing on a daily basis and apply it to your businesses, even outside of network marketing. Uh, you're going to find a lot of the trainings we do here in Vive are just about business and life in general. And yes, you can apply them to Vive, but I want to teach you how the world's wealthiest people think and act and operate, right? And it's by understanding emotions, energy in motion. So when a company uh, catches fire or momentum, it usually starts with uh, one or a couple of people, right? And I'm not taking credit for anything. This is just a picture of me and Maddie, but we are leading the charge here. And you guys are all leading the charge too. Here's what I want you to understand. In order for the company to grow in momentum, stay in momentum, right? It's up to you guys. It's not up to me. It's up to you to create the energy. And what is, what is that energy? It's the way you think. You need to create the way you think about this business, about where you're going, and hold that high energy to cause the company itself to move into massive momentum. Does that make sense? Like everybody here, you have your part. And if you're going through the week all pissed off and grumpy and oh, I hate my job and I'm going a, I'm to a prospect now, let me reach out to some people, see if I can sucker them into being a customer right? Then you're part of the problem and not part of the solution. We want, we are a family here. Viva is a family. We're still a small company. We're going to be a family even when we're a, a multi-billion dollar company. But the culture here is unparalleled. Absolutely. I'm convinced it's absolutely unparalleled. I've, I've seen my share of companies and I, a lot of the people in the, our teams here have been in companies. What we have is unique and special. Even what we do for clients, right? We're in harmony with helping people. We're not trying to load them up with a bunch of products. There's nothing wrong with products at all. I know some uh, very, very good product-based companies. I'm just saying what we're doing here, especially now in the recession we're in, people need us. They don't know they need us, but you guys got to realize that they need you. They may be resistant though, right? People get bombarded with crap all the time. So you got to posture up. You got to get better. You got to build your skills. Say, hey, listen, I know you get bombarded all the time. This is not that though. Let me, just, let me just holler at you for five minutes here. If it doesn't make sense, but just give me those five minutes. Get good with your language. Get good at breaking down those walls. It's not their fault either. It's not your fault. It's not their fault. 
People are just programmed to say no about anything. You can literally try to give somebody 500 bucks. Hey, Warner, what's up, brother? Listen, I got $500 I'm going to give to you, right? Now, this is not, this is not Warner, but the average person, well, well, why? What do I got to do? What's, what do you mean? What's the catch? What's the angle? Like, what? <laughs> you know? So just understand people. Understand people. They, they might be programmed to be a little resistant. That's okay. You just got to get a, good, a little bit of language. You got to bring your energy up is the biggest thing now. Right? If you're if you're in a funk and you're prospecting people, you're gonna get funky people. <laughs> right? Bring your energy up. Have some fun with this. I always uh, one of my favorite people on the planet is is Kathy McGee. She's just always in a high vibration, man. And it's no wonder why she raced through the ranks. I mean, she's about to be a partner, uh, visionary, all of it, you know, because she's having fun with people. So so this energy's got to start with you. You know, I, I have my business. I know where I'm going with this company. I'm here to help you guys build momentum. And it starts with you. It doesn't start with me. It starts with you and your business and how you feel about your business, right? So I get a little exercise that we can do here that's going to help you guys, right? Because emotion starts with one person, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, right? Think about this. Think about how these things happen. With us, it's Cami Bamey, right? She, she formed the vision of this company. How can we actually help customers, not screw them for money, but how can we actually bring value to people, get in harmony with that and produce a company where everybody just win, win, wins, right? Our negotiators only get paid if they save money. Guess what? We only get paid if our company saves money. Like, doesn't that sound like a company you want to rock and roll with? And if you get good at explaining this to people, say, listen, I know you get bombarded. I know you've heard of the things. This is not that. Just give me two minutes to... To holla at you. Let's watch this little two minute video. I'm going to explain some differences. It, it may not be a fit for you. I'm not saying this is a fit. I'm just saying, give me two minutes to, to show you what I'm up to. Think about if you talk like that to the people you're talking to. Right? <coughs> think, about, think about how effective that is when you can get good with your language and neutralize people's minds. Yeah, I'll give, all right, man, I'll give you two minutes. What do you got? Let's jump on a Zoom. I'll show you this quick two minute video, answer some questions. And uh, we'll, just, we'll just get educated together. And at the end of the day, if it's not for you, no big deal. I'm not saying it's for you. I'm just saying let's get educated. Does that make sense? Right? I, I actually saw some of your heads move up and down, even though this is not a sale. That's energy in motion, by the way. That's me moving your heads up and down with, with tonalities and language. That's what sales is, all right? So understand, you've got to create the energy in motion every day in your business when you're reaching out to people. And this is all around us, right? If you take a, if you look at a small stream in nature, it's just a small little stream, right? Trickling through the forest, all happy, you know? That's what you gotta be like when you're a brand new network marketer. Now, a, a little stream, a tiny little stream, when it hits a massive boulder, right? The energy in the stream doesn't try to bore through the rock, does it? It doesn't, it doesn't stop and, and, and like just butt up against the boulder, right? No, it just, it takes the path of non-resistance. This is what you guys got to learn about life in general, by the way. When people are burning out in their careers, this is what they're doing. I'm, I can work 16 hour days, seven days a week because I love what I do. And I'll never burn out because I understand these principles. And I don't say that to impress you. I say it to impress upon you. If you're coming home like, I'm exhausted, it means you just don't understand some of these principles. If you're burning out in your company, your network marketing company or any company, just means you're focused on results instead of the cause. I'm going to talk about that a little here today, but think about a new brand new stream. It just, it just goes with the flow, man. Maybe a yes, maybe a no. Some people say yes. Some people say no. Either way is fine. No big deal. I love what I do. I love my life, right? High energy, positive vibration. You want to be like water. This is very uh, predominant in um, Asian cultures, understanding the law of non-resistance and things like Aikido, martial arts. So this is what you want to be like. What happens over time when you're in this high vibration, your company starts to build, your health gets better, you, everything around you just gets better, and you start to look more like this, right? Now, when you start to have this kind of energy, you actually can push those little rocks aside, can't you? The rocks just, like, this is where I'm going, and the smaller rocks move aside. Now, if you hit a massive boulder, you're still going to go around that. But think about the, the little rocks that are getting cast aside. This is all the people that are the naysayers, the negative thinkers. Just poop, poop. You don't think one way or another about, okay, it's not for you. It's not for you. My only job is to reach out to people in a high vibration, right? My job is not to recruit everybody. My job is to 
ask people if they're open. My job is not to get customers. My job is to ask them if they're open to taking a look at a video. So my job is not to focus on results because that's an emotional roller coaster or burnout. Your job is to only focus on the cause, which is the only thing you really can do anyway. Right? And if you're reaching out to people, 10 people a day, 20 people a day, at the end of the day, if you can say, yes, I reached out to 20 people, then you're successful. Mission accomplished. You won the day. You guys see the difference? That's what will that's stop you from burning out. Fall in love with the cause, not the effect. And eventually, look at what happens with water, right? Look what happens with water. And you get that energy. Eventually, water is such a force. I mean, they use water to cut through two-inch and three-inch plate stock steel. When I was working at the General Electric Company, they had water jet cutting machines that will cut through two inches of steel. So we want to be like water, flow like water, right? Now, here's what most of you guys are doing. You put your boat in the water, in the stream, you start your network marketing company, and you start paddling upstream. I need customers. I need to build the team. I need, I need, I need, I want, I want, I want. And you just start paddling upstream, which is pretty cool as long as the current's not too strong, right? Um, but how long can you do that? How long can you do that? How long can you, can you uh, just, you know, grind, right? I got to grind it out. Like, you should lose that phrase. Nobody, does that sound pleasant? Does grinding, I got to... Grinded. I hear a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of, uh, and some people very successful too, but they don't realize they're on the path to burnout. You can grind when you're in your, you know, teens and twenties and maybe thirties, you can grind and hustle. You don't realize you're, you're causing ulcers in the future. You're causing heart attacks. You're causing mental stress by grinding and hustling, right? Even that word. Now, like I said, I can work 16 hour days, no problem, but I'm not grinding. Do you guys see the difference? Because I'm only focused on the cause. I disconnect from the results. Some of you are going to be here in a year and some of you won't. And that's just up to you. It's not up to me. And I'm fine. You know, hopefully you're all here, but I know I'm going to be here, right? I'm focused on the cause. I know where the company's going. We're looking to build momentum here, right? So we want to stop doing that. Now look what happens when you get in flow, when you just focus on what you can control, right? You don't even have to row the boat. You just get in flow and let the, let the river carry you, right? So if you're just reaching out to people every day in a high vibration, Pretty soon, oh yes, sure, yeah, here's my bills. What are you doing? Sure, I'll take another look. Yeah, why don't you get on the phone with my business partner? He'll help explain everything. I think after you talk to him, you'll be able to figure out if this is a fit or not, and either way is fine. Get this, get this language, this non-resistant language. Listen, Warren, you're in accounting, this may be a fit, maybe not. Uh, we do work with big companies, there's some things we do. Uh, when we reach out to companies, there's no cost for what we do, so it's in harmony with, with that, there's no resistance, but. You know, let's get educated. Let's take a little bit of time and let's see if this is something we can weave in your business. And at the end of the day, if not, I'm just happy to make a friend. Like, who's going to say no to that? I mean, the conversation, at least the conversation. That's, all, that's the only thing you guys can control, right? And this is what happens when you start to master this stuff. Number one, you don't burn out. Number two, you get in flow. And then you just hold on for the ride, man. You just hold on for the ride. You're not paddling. You're just trying to like, woo, right? You're just, you're just going down that river. And this, I promise you, this awaits for all of you if you can understand this stuff and not burn out. So I wanted to show you uh, a little bit about the analogy of the river there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, and before we get into the text blitzing part, um, I want you guys to think about your goal in Vive. I know you have other goals. I want you to think about your goal in Vive. And if you're able to, I want you to write that down. Right? Write that down. Write down your goal in Vive, which is good to know. Goal is for your subconscious mind. It says, this I will achieve by this date. And a goal should be something you want, not something you think you can achieve. Like, don't, don't put the goal of pace setter in a year unless that's what you want. I mean, honestly, guys, nobody really wants pace setter as a goal. Think about this. It's a stepping stone usually. And you, you might desire to get there in the short term. That's not really the end result, is it? I'm looking at the silver fox. He's like, hell to the F. No, that's not the end result. <laughs> this dude's diamond executive, man. It's all, it's all go. And, and he's a perfect example. You want to talk about being a stream of wisdom. This dude, when he's talking to somebody, so listen, I just want to be clear. This is not something I need you to do. This is something I'm showing you because I thought there was some value. If not, no big deal, no worries. That is an inflow statement. You guys see what I mean? Here's an out of flow statement, right? 
hey, Silver Fox, listen, we're going to crush this thing. I mean, a million dollars in the first seven months, guaranteed, man. This is easy. It's not even hard. All you do is dial the people come in, right? This is easy, easy, easy. That is against the flow. That's just a, a bold faced lie, right? So we want to have inflow statements, transparency. People trust transparency, radical transparency. This is not a, it's a, it's a business like anything else. No, it does have some easy points to it, right? I don't have to sell somebody on using their cell phone. I don't have to sell somebody on using the internet. They're already doing that. But we still, we still need to lower their walls of resistance. We still need to posture up. We need to be human, talk to people, lower their, you know, neutralize their mind, get them to maybe watch what we're doing. There's some skill to that. Take some time. But, um, but it's a lot easier than some other businesses, right? We can do it from home and uh, we can do it over Zoom. Right now, a lot of businesses are suffering. So you can, you can highlight the things that are, that are uh, easy or, 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 or not hard to do. But, then, don't, but don't tell somebody something that's the non-truth, right? That's just going against the flow. Um, so now that you've got your goal, whatever that is, um, why, why do you have the goal? You can write this on paper or, or just think about it, but why that goal? Why Diamond Executive by January 2021? Why Diamond Executive? All right, what's, what's the reason? It's, I'm not talking about the why that makes you cry. I'm talking about like, what does it feel like? What, what, what's the why? What would that mean in your life? Is it giving you some financial flexibility, some, some time flexibility? Is it some of you, I mean, Diamond Executive for some of you, uh, would retire you from your jobs easily. I mean, even executive would probably do that. Maybe even, maybe even gold partner where I'm at now, right? For a couple more days. That's enough to retire most people. So think about that. But what did I do to get there? I just, all the principles we're teaching here, right? I am so disconnected to, from results, guys. I don't worry about if people come in my business. I just focus on my end of the deal. Matter of fact, I don't worry about anything in life because that's like praying for what you don't want. So now that you got your why, here's the bigger trick. And this is, this is how you get into a high vibration. How does that make you feel? How does it make you feel to retire your spouse? How does it make you feel to be able to leave your job? What does that feel like? Because that's the emotion, the energy and motion that we talked about. It's not the goal. It's not the money. It's not the cars or the houses or the vacations. It's the feeling you get in the house. It's the feeling you get when you don't have to go work for somebody else. I haven't worked for somebody else since 19, no, 2003. It's a pretty good feeling. You know, there's nothing wrong with a job. I had a job for the first, you know, 10 or 15 years of my life. Actually, I've had a job since I was 10 years old. Uh, so there's nothing wrong with having a job. Um, it's just more about what you want. That's the beauty of network marketing. We can build it up in parallel. So just want to get you guys thinking because the feeling that you have, by the way, that's the state of mind you want to get in when you're reaching out to people. All right. This is what I'm showing you here is physics. It's not opinion. Um, everybody's getting exactly what they want, believe it or not. It's, it's the energy you're putting out, whether it's high vibration or low vibration. So we're attracting everything we want. Um, so you don't, you don't get what you want. You get what you are, if that makes sense. So before we move forward into the prospecting part, does anybody have any comments or questions about how to, how to get in momentum and stay in momentum? All good? Hey, Brian, it's Joe. How are you doing? Hey, brother. What's happening? So my background's my vision here, right? So I'm on the beat. <laughs> I love it. I but, love it. Uh, uh, so, yeah, the, to answer, could you answer your question that you just posed? I think that's a great one. How do you stay in momentum? Um, you know, what do you think the answer is to that? I had, I, knowing you, I'd suspect it has something to do with the way we think and, and putting your uh, thoughts into action. Yeah, well, it has nothing to do with me. It has to do with physics, energy, and motion. Mm. What are you thinking? Now, th again, guys, this is not a, just a cute phrase. This is... This is what creates momentum in the universe. It's energy and motion, mass times velocity. So it's your thoughts. It's your dominant thoughts, all of you. Everything starts with your dominant thoughts. If you're worrying about stuff, you're on a low vibration. The law of attraction or magnetism has to respond by giving you more things on a low vibration, like a flat tire, like a stomach ulcer, like everybody saying no, 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 no. Everything is frequency, everything is vibration. So 
Momentum starts with your thoughts. So every single morning, what are you thinking? And what are you doing to bring your thoughts up? Right? When you start to master that, everything has to, by law, follow suit. Your results, your success, the money, your health, everything has to follow suit. If you condition your mind to only be in a high vibration. That make sense? Absolutely. Very good. Thank you. But it takes time because we're conditioned the opposite way. We're born into society and nobody knows this stuff. Nobody teaches this stuff. And it's nobody's fault. It's not your parents' fault. It's not the school's fault. But the fact of the matter is you get to be our age, Joe, and uh, you might have 20, 30, 40 years of virus code programming. So easy, to, especially with the news and the media, it's so easy to get wrapped up in what's going wrong. What I want you to do is get wrapped up every morning in what's going right. Yeah, I'm getting out of analog, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's the deal, right? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. Do, they call it gratitude, but you want to do things in the morning to set your vibration. Everything else will follow suit. Roger that. All right. Awesome, guys. Well, let's, um, let's get into the, work, the working part of what we're doing here. Now that you understand a little bit about vibration, I want you to focus only in your Vive career. I only want you focusing on falling in love with the process. You guys get a disconnect from the results. I know you've heard this, but now that you know a little bit more about energy, right? You know that you can only control the cause. You can't control the effect. You can only turn the light switch on. You can't make the light express through the bulb. That's physics and energy. But you can turn the light switch on, can't you? Most of you guys are trying to turn the light on just by looking at it. You're trying to control the results. I want people in my business. I want you know, pro members and, and customers. And you're focusing on the result. And guess what happens if you're focused on the result? A week goes by, and if you don't have good results, you get in a low vibration. You beat yourself up. This thing's not working. Uh. You get in a low vibration, and the law of attraction has to respond by giving you more things in that frequency. Here's what happens when you're focused on the process. My process, you got, you got to answer this question for yourself. You might say, my process is to reach out to 20 new people a day. I don't care what they say or what happens. The only thing I can control is reaching out to 20 people in a high vibration. Now, if you reach out to 20 people that day, then when you go to bed at night, you can say, I won the day. I'm successful. Mission accomplished. Goal achieved. You guys see how this works? You can do this with your physical fitness, too. You don't have to focus on, like, the 100 pounds if you want to lose or if you're, right? You don't have to worry about that. You just got to win the day. Focus on the cause. I'm going to get up in the morning and go walking. I'm going to eat good today. I'm going to drink plenty of water. And I'm just going to win today. And have your little checklist, right? Get in a good vibration. Go for a walk. Drink the water. Eat smaller portions. Eat good food. At, when you go to bed at night, be grateful. Love yourself. Check, 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 and go to bed. You stack up 365 uh, of those bad rabbits, and you're going to be in, in a whole different level of, of uh, results, aren't you? All right. Now think about this in network marketing. Fall in love with the process. Wake up. Put yourself in a good vibration. Be grateful that you even woke up in the first place, first place right? If you can pick up a cell phone, be grateful that you have a cell phone. If you can reach out to people, be grateful for that. Understand what gratitude is. Put yourself in a high vibration. Reach out to 20 people. Disconnect from results. Study a little bit in network marketing. Study a little bit in sales. Right? Increase your craft. I promise you network marketing is a profession. The people that I train with all over the world are six, seven, eight, and even nine figure earners. Yes, over a hundred million, over a hundred million in network marketing, right? Now, how many people in the industry that you're in outside of network marketing do you know have made over a hundred million dollars? Think about your job, whatever, whatever the other thing is that you're doing, right? There's more millionaire network marketers than there are millionaire realtors on the planet. Think about that one. Real estate is, is looked at as a very high level profession, right? Most of the people you talk to are just completely ignorant about network marketing. That's okay. It's not their fault. It's your job to educate them, right? Educate. Educo from Latin means to bring out, to draw out. That's what we do. We draw out of people. Hey, did you know this about the network marketing profession? I didn't either, by the way. I thought it was a bunch of BS when I, honestly, my friend came to me. I was like, dude, what are you bringing to me? But because it was in 
energy and cell phones and internet, like everybody's got that. It, it just caused me to take a, a little bit deeper look. And this is what I found. I'd love to show you. All right, guys, so here's, here's what we're doing on a Saturday. I want you to open up your phones, open up your Facebook, open up your Instagram, whatever you do to prospect. I want you to get into the state of mind and focus on the cause. I want you to reach out to a minimum of 30 people. Minimum of 30 new people. I'm going to do it right here with you. I do this every Saturday. This is, this is all I do, right? I, I reach out on Saturdays. I pique some interest and I book some appointments for the week. I have a five-hour week business model. An hour on Saturdays, an hour on Tuesdays, three to five half-hour appointments a week. And I don't worry about the, the effects, right? I just do my part of the deal. If you guys can just surrender to the process and do that for the next 12 months, I promise you the rest of it just works out. It just works out. All right. So if you guys are wondering what to say to people, just raise your hand or unmute yourself and I will help you. Uh, is my little offspring on here? Matt, are you on here anywhere? Where are you at? I don't know if she's on here today. Oh, there she is. Madison. She might be doing something else. It's my daughter's birthday today. If you guys want to wish her happy birthday. You know what would be cool? Why don't we do this? Why don't everybody unmute yourself? Let's sing happy birthday to Maddie. You guys up for that? Who's, who's with me on that one? All right, all right, all right. I'm, this is gonna this is gonna sound horrific, but let's do this. All right, ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Maddie. Birthday to you. Oh my God, that was awesome. that was awful, but that was so awesome. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I can hear you loud and clear. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I was uh, like, what is that? It sounds like a symphony. And then I was like, wait a second. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Awesome, everybody. All right, clowns, let's get to work. 30 to, 50, 30 to 50 outreaches, all right? Feel good about it. Disconnect from the result. If you need help with your language, uh, Maddie, can you put the link to the Google Drive for the scripts? We have some scripts that you guys can use to reach out to people, but just... Just be a human being. Listen, I have something I want to run by you. Maybe it's a fit, maybe not. Can we jump on a quick phone call? Like you could send that little phrase to 50 people. And again, this could be LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. I like to use your phone. Go right in your phone. Most people overlook the phone. The beautiful thing about your phone is everybody that's in your phone has a phone. And we reduce phone bills. Right. Don't overcomplicate this. Don't overcomplicate it. All right, guys, if you need any help with things, just anything, just unmute yourself and I can coach you through what to say to somebody. Hi, Brian. This is Madeline. Um, so my boyfriend has had has been really successful with the car business okay. and has given me access to a lot of his contacts. And I was just wondering what the best way to approach that clientele would be. So is, is he in car sales? Yes. Well, again, it, it's super easy, right? Every one of his customers has a cell phone. So listen, thanks for buying a car. We have a, a white glove service we do for people. It's a free service. I can help lower your cell phone, internet, TV, electricity. I got a quick two minute video. If you're open to it, let's take a look. Okay, great. I was just thinking the same thing, Brian. I've actually got a neighbor down here at the beach that owns a car dealership, several car dealerships. In no, Richmond. that's different. That's different. If the dude owns the dealerships, then we got to get on a three-way call. Okay. That's a large commercial business deal. Okay. We could save that dude. If he's got multiple dealerships, yeah. No, no yeah. word of a lie. It'll be a six figures in savings. No question. Wow. Okay. Fabulous. I'll probably see him. I mean, on the these are dealerships, right? They are. Yep. Yeah. They, and you say more than he's got a couple of them. He does. Yeah. Yeah. And I would just say, listen, I, I, a colleague of mine goes around the country working with dealerships, just like yours. So okay. Take it off yourself. I right? say a friend or a colleague of mine goes around the country working with dealerships, just like yours. 
I happened to mention you the other day, you said with a company like yours, they can probably, between saving you and getting back money, sure. they can probably um, save you in the six figures, probably right. worth a five minute phone call. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I'll check with him today. Just, you know, of course, with the coronavirus, you know, car sales have been down. So I'm sure he'd be- Perfect time. Yeah. Now here's what some people say, well, I, I, I'm focusing on my thing. There's so much that, listen, this is where you might have to push through the wall. Mm -hmm. I know things are going on, but this is the perfect time. We do all the work. My, my, my buddy's company, they do all the work. They only get paid if they save you. You can neutralize his mind with that. Okay. Do all the heavy lifting. So, cause he might be like, you know, in that kind of a fear-based mindset and whatever. Sure. Cool. Okay. Perfect. I will chat with him. Thank you. Nolan, I feel like you want to say something, brother. I, say, I always see myself on here twice. I'm like, who's that handsome dude? And it's Nolan. What's up, man? What's, going What's up, on? baby? How you doing? <laughs> I'm good, man. <laughs> Actually, it's Warner. You're looking at Warner. You ain't looking at Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> Y'all crazy, man. Y'all crazy. Hey, good morning. Just a little bit late to the call. I was, I was working on something else. And uh, but just got oh, on. No. You're working oh. on something else, man. You got to go. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I was I was working on something with the family back in Chicago. So oh, gotcha. All, but it's all good. Hey, what's going on with y'all? Love and life, brother. Maddie's birthday today. We're just we're getting you know doing a little bit of work, four to six hours of work, and then we're gonna disconnect. Family's coming up. We're gonna enjoy the lake. We're gonna win the weekend. Hey, happy birthday, Maddie. Make sure you let her know. Hey, Brian. Hey, Joe, what's up? Buddy? On the uh, commercial, you mentioned that. Uh, uh, so is Madison Energy still doing all the installs with the COVID and everything in all states or, you know? Yeah, I haven't heard of them. Not Yeah, I don't think there's an issue there because the equipment is usually exterior to the building. Okay. I don't think there's any issues there. Very good. A lot of that stuff's starting to relax in different states, too. My daughter's born yeah. up from Georgia. The entire state of Georgia, they're wide open again. Yeah. They just been... They said, we don't believe I, I, I got my first haircut in two months, so. <laughs> but it's, yeah, they just, they just went to phase one in New York, at least upstate, so. But it's all, it's all different in different places, so. All right, guys, 30 to 50 invites. I mean, whatever your goal is, right? But what we lack in skills in the beginning, we make up for numbers. That's why I suggest 30 to 50 outreach. You can do 100. Guys, I've done 200 in a day before. Took me about six hours on in the winter. You know what I mean? It's like still only a part-time thing. So it's whatever you want for your business. But what is momentum? Momentum is mass times velocity. What is mass? Mass is energy. Energy in motion. It's your thoughts. It's your actions. Put your body in motion, right? So you can create your own momentum. Matter of fact, you're always creating your own momentum. It just might not be going in the right direction. That's what a death spiral is. That's what depression is. Momentum in the wrong direction, right? You start to understand just a cap full of this stuff and you're like, wait a minute, I control all of this. I'm just going to reach out to people, man. I don't care if they tell me to go pound sand. That's on them. That's not on me. Anybody have any questions on what to say or how to say it? Brian. Oh, oh this sounds like Julissa. Yeah. Where you at? Where's your camera? Turn your camera on. <laughs> okay. I'm glowing. <laughs> so, um, in regards to um, commercial, going back to commercial, if you don't mind enlightening everyone in regards to commercial or any businesses, who they would connect to in order to get the bills or who they need to talk to. Depends on the size, that yeah, depends on the size of the business. If it's a small business, you connect with the owner, right? So the case, I mean, even those dealers, those dealerships, I would connect with the owner. Um, if it was the General Electric company, you would want to connect with uh, the chief operations officer or um, chief financial officer or the controller. So the bigger the company, the, you're probably not going to be able to talk to the CEO. And if, if it's a really big company, you probably won't be able to talk to the operations officer. You might talk to somebody in the company, like a manager, right? So it depends on the size of the company. That makes sense? But the, the wording I would use if I was you guys is exactly what I talked to John about. I would remove it from yourself. Unless, um, unless it's a pizza show, like a small, small company, like your buddy's company, you can use the videos and use the, you know, use the, the brochures and, and you can sell it yourself. But if it's a bigger company and these people know you for being a nurse or a waitress or a carpenter, 
And you're like, yeah, we can, you know, we can go into your, your $10 billion company and we can reduce costs across the board. We can negotiate your bills and we can do these audits going backwards. They can be like, dude, you're a carpenter. It's not going to make sense to them. So what you do is re you remove yourself from that equation. Some of you work for companies and you might be wondering if it's a conflict of interest. So remove it from yourself and just say, listen, I have a friend or a colleague and I thought of the company because the company has been good to me. They go around the country working with companies just like ours. Write that phrase down. There's a lot of NLP in that phrase, right? My, my friend or my colleague's company, they go around the country working with companies just like ours, just like yours. And they're negotiating all of their operating costs across the board going forward. And they can look up to four years backwards, clawing back monies that the company is overspent. I don't know exactly how it works, but I do know that it's free and there's no risk and they work on commission only. If you master that little bit of a deal, just say it might be worth a five minute phone call or it might be worth submitting your information. Make sense guys? Can you repeat that again, Brian? You know what, this is recorded. I probably can't repeat it like that again. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would watch the recording because every time I say something, it comes out different. It's just a general idea. You're trying to take it off yourself, right? I have a colleague or a friend. They go around to companies just like yours all over the country. They're reducing operating costs going forward, and they can look up to four years backwards. I know it's a free service. I know there's no risk. They work on contingency, which means we don't get paid until we save. And it might be worth a five-minute phone call, or it might be worth – Entering your information to see if you qualify. That's another good thing. Do you qualify, right? Brian, it's Gloria. And what, what do we, th oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Gloria. Um, Ladies if, first. If they do say yes, then do we put them on a call with our upline or what at that point do we do? You could put them on a call with Joe from corporate or it could be your upline, depending on your upline. There's a few of us. I just don't want, I don't want everybody rushing to me because it's not that I don't want to help you, but I'll be a bottleneck for you. I can't possibly take all of your calls, right? So we have Joe Grigliamo, but we do have people like myself and Nolan. Kathy's getting really good at talking about this stuff. Joe Deere, I could talk about this stuff. Um, Nolan's my upline. Yeah. So, I mean, have a, a chat with Nolan, but um, either Joe or Nolan or myself sometimes. Okay. Um, but yeah, quick, quick phone call like that. Okay, cool. Hey. Thanks. Hey, hey, just to let you know that Gloria is my newest P160 as of yesterday. Boom, boom. boom. <laughs> I love it. We're, we're, I'm telling you, the company's a momentum. You, you can either jump on board or watch this ship go by, but I promise you it's moving. Promise you it's moving. That last thing, Brian, does that, um, when you said something about, uh, uh, they could just fill out the information. Let's just fill out the information. Yep. Is that that form that we have in it the is. back office? It is. And that's a, that's a better thing to do. If you can get them to fill out their information, that's, that's sort of the right process. But if there's some resistance, you can use people like me and Nolan and your upline to be an interim to the form. Right. But the idea is to take it off yourself, guys. In, in the commercial world, you're just lead generation. That's it. You're, you're not explaining stuff. You can use the tools. You can give a pamphlet. You can do a video. But don't. Commercial is just lead generation. With individuals, you actually are selling it, and you're enrolling them, and you're uploading their bills. But in commercial, just peak interest. Peak and pass, baby. Peak and pass. <laughs> you know, you, don't, you yeah. guys don't want to get bogged down with commercial. It can, um, they can take a long time. Yes, they're bigger payouts, but you could wait six months. In the meantime, you could have a team of 1,000 people. So I would say 5% of your time in commercial, 95% of your time frontline recruiting. Hey, so I just want to I just want to add something to that. I, I agree with you 100%. I, I just want to add on. So this is not a but. This is an and. <laughs> um, so here's the thing. The way that I do it is – if, you, if you're talking to somebody, get two for one. And what I mean by that is when you talk about Joseph, say, look, I, you know, I got a guy that really looks at businesses just like yours and he saves them sometimes tens, if not hundreds, thousands of dollars, depending on how big you are. 
he literally specializes in commercial and I specialize in doing the same thing for residential. Ooh, I like so that. when you do when you do that, you kind of put yourself out there like, well, I like to do it at my house. So so I give you an example. I, I literally was talking to the neighbor. And some of you all may have heard some of the story before, but I was talking to the neighbor uh, just on some man, how is business with this whole COVID thing and yada, yada, yada. And he was like, man, business is really booming uh, because of what they do. They make fasteners. They are, uh, uh, so obviously it's more fasteners being made when people call for some, I don't know what the hell was going on, but he was like, he was like, business is booming. I was like, cool. I was literally taking out the garbage. Same time he was taking out the garbage. And so I told him, I said, look, I got this new company that I'm working with. I kind of do everything residential, but I got a guy that specializes mm. in our whole commercial department and he takes care of all businesses like you're telling me. What I like to do, and so I sent him the link. He filled the whole thing out. He took it over to the, to the president. He did it, and then he called me later, and then he uploaded his bills. That's like a two for one. All uh -huh. because I planted the seed that I said, I, I, I'm the professional when it comes to residential. That's all me. But if you really want the guy, I can get you the guy at the head of my department in commercial. His name is Joseph, and I can have him call directly to you, right? And so that, that's exactly how I throw it out there. That way, you can kind of get two for one. That's all. That's, that's all I want to say. No, I love it. I love it. And the reason, I don't know if you guys can feel the energy. Do you, do you, can you feel how calm and soothing Nolan's voice is? How just confident and calm and soothing when he's talking to people? That's how he talks to people on a sale, too. And it's, it's, he slows his tonalities down. He slows the rhythms of his speech down so people can comprehend. But just calm, confident. This is what I do. I do this part. My boy over here does this part. Maybe it's a fit. Maybe not. It's, let's, let's explore this together. But that rhythm, man, it's like, man, it's like a symphony. It's like music. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. So who here is running for Visionary Circle? Honestly, don't, you don't have to all raise your hands, but if you are running for it, put your hand up. All right, now I'm going to show you what it takes to get there. Kathy, my main woman, what is your daily method of operation? Um, well, oh, turn that down because it's echoing. Well, I get up in the morning and I uh, do my uh, – reach out to about 35 people in the morning. I do my uh, life script. I do study TIR. I, um, then by, by that time the kids come and then at lunchtime, I repeat all of that. And then in the afternoon, another, another 35, right? Huh? Another 35 reach outs. Yes. I, I reach out to about 70 a day. And then, um, Everything is like, you know, everything is broken up. Then on Wednesdays, it's focusing only on commercial properties. Mm, got you. That's it. And I let Joe do all the work because I don't know enough about the commercial side. And he <laughs> paid to do that. So I use his resources and let him do it. I submit him the forms because he knows what each business has. And he knows how he can make me more money because he knows what they got and what each product does and everything like that. And so I give it to him and let him run with it. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Love it. And how do you feel about what you're doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel fantastic. It's fun. It's fun, fun, fun. I feel fantastic. I love it. Does anybody here think Kathy's lying about that? Do you see when I asked her that question, she picked herself up. Oh my God. Are you kidding? Do you think she's lying about how she feels, how she feels when she's reaching out to people? I mean, it's, it's, it's truly amazing to feel the energy go through your body. I mean, I've never had this feeling before. So I started doing TIR and training with Brian. I mean, I, it's, it's just amazing. I love it. It's so that's, can, that's what momentum is. What you're describing is energy in motion. It's momentum. So now Kathy has a process where every morning she picks up her energy on purpose. And then she reaches out to 35 people and has a blast doing it. And they say yes or they say no. We have some funny stories. Some of it blows up in her face and it's just funny. It's just funny. You should have heard what this one dude said, you know. We, have, we laugh about this stuff. It's funny. <laughs> well, one of them, and also one of them said, well, I'm not recruitable. I said, well, that's great. But I know you have bills to save money on. <laughs> exactly. 
So, so I mean, it's just, it's just fun. And I wake up in the morning. I used to wake up thinking, oh, I got to get out of bed and take care of these kids because I have a daycare in my home. But I wake up now before I even step out of bed, like, who do I get to reach out today? Who do I get to talk to today? Mm-hmm. And so um, I, I absolutely love it. You know, this the mindset training has saved me, has just really just put, changed my life. It has truly, truly changed my life. I'm enjoying life now. I'm 51 and I'm enjoying life. I don't let anything bother me. I don't stress. I used to stress about money all the time. I don't stress about money because it's going to come. I don't know how it's going to come, when it's going to come, but it's coming. I feel it. Mm -hmm. And so that's the same thing with me retiring from my job. It's coming. I know it's coming. Well, that was my next question. I was going to ask you, is Vive a full-time thing for you? Vive is going to be a full-time thing for me. (laughs) But right now it's not, right? You have multiple companies, even outside of your core business. Right. I do. Mm -hmm. I don't want want you guys to confuse this. Kathy runs her own business. She's she's her own um, CEO, right? She has her own daycare company with 12 lunatic kids running around and it's it's a full-time deal it's no joke any of you that have ever either raised kids or been around that environment that's that's a takes a lot of energy to do what she's doing (laughs) my uh, ex-mother-in-law ran a day still running a daycare for a good part of Mm -hmm. 40 years and it's 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 a big deal so but it's so funny because I, i i i'm different with them too it's amazing of how you know i enjoy them more instead of you know like i enjoy them more you know it's a, it's a really funny story, but I have this little girl I don't like vegetables. And so before I give her vegetables, she's like, I'm thankful and grateful I like green beans. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll sit there and take one at a time. I'm thankful and grateful I like green beans. <laughs> oh, my God. The brainwashing at the highest level. I love it. Hey, but Kathy, it is. It's amazing. We get a question in here. Somebody's asking, you know, what's a typical message, a text that you might say in cold market? Um, let's see. I have it. Um, uh, I got it all saved, but I'm like, um, uh, what is it? I'm, I can post it in the chat. Sure. Cool. Cool. So guys, I want you to think about this now. Does anybody, hey, hold on, Brian. Is anybody Brian, hold on before, before oh, you say that really, really quick. I just want, I just want people to realize as you talk about, uh, you know, my voice or the confidence or whatever the case may be. Right. I, I didn't want you to skip over this part because as, as we try to reveal um, the elements to building this company successfully, as we bring Kathy up, Kathy is in love with the process. Mm. That's what you're hearing, right? So when we talk about you have to like the process, that's why I'm a very patient man because I know everything has a process. There's a natural evolution to everything. You can't do one set of crunches and run to the mirror to see if you got a six pack. At some point in time, for you to get a six pack, you're going to have to fall in love with doing crunches for you to get a six pack. Because when you're over 40, a six pack is one of the hardest things to get. I'm telling you that right now. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's not the situation of doing the crunches looking in the mirror. It's the situation of saying this is what I need to do every day and falling in love with the habits of doing that and not looking at the results. And then one morning you wake up and be like, Jesus Christ, I'm fine as hell because I got a six pack. You see what I'm saying? So, so Kathy is just the epitome of that as we talk about not attaching yourself to the results, but just doing the things or literally what I say, sowing the seeds that's going to give you harvest. So I didn't mean to cut you off. I just no. I, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did, Nolan, because you really, 100 percent correct. Everything Kathy was just expressing. You're right. She's in love with the process, mm-hmm. and it's it's so important for you guys to understand. Otherwise, you'll burn out. I promise you. I don't care what you're doing either in your core career, real estate. If you're if you fall in love with the process, that you get the keys to the kingdom. That's the deal, right? Yep. Success. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Success is not the 100000 a month. That's the result of the journey. It's the journey. That's, that's the part. That's the deal. So as soon as you make a choice and a decision that you want to improve your life and get to whatever it is you want to get to, you're instantly successful because everything starts as energy, which is what I explained in the beginning, right? So success 
is the instant you choose that I'm going to close down my daycare this year. You choose the new quality of life. You're instantly successful. Make sense, guys? So guys, I want you to think about this now. For those of you that had your little hand up about the visionary circle, does your daily method of operation look like Kathy's? If it doesn't, you probably won't make visionary circle. And I don't mean that in a negative way. I'm just saying it's not, an, it's not a gimme. It's not, a, it's not just being in V for the next 90 days. We'll get you there. You're, you're going to have to take a reasonable amount of action. Now, if Kathy can do it, she's just as busy, if not more busy than anybody here, then you can do it. Just focus on the outreach. Don't focus on what people say. Just focus on the energy out. The other side of this, if you do have a daily operation like hers, you are reaching out to 25 people in the morning, 25 people at night, right? Seven days a week. You probably will make visionary circle, especially if you're teaching that habit to the people that you recruit. More than likely you will make it. Matter of fact, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I think, I think Kathy's going to be a silver partner by the end of August. That's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. I, think, I don't think a visionary circle is, that's going to be probably this month, <laughs> right? Because I just, just look, at the, look at the attitude, look at the energy, and look at the process. Make sense, guys? Anybody else have any questions on what to say or how to say it before we wrap up? Brian, I have a question. Hey, Dan, how you doing? <laughs> Good. Um, I've been sending out messages to the real estate agents. I've been sending out like 300 a week. Okay. And um, I'm using the message that says we're um, working with realtors to help them brand themselves. And they want to know, like, what they, they keep coming back and asking me, how does this help me? How does this brand me? Mm -hmm. So basically what I'm saying to them is, what do you mean? I mean, you, this is, you're sitting on a gold mine here. All you have well, to do is sign yeah, up. I mean, I wouldn't, using words like you're sitting on a gold mine sounds a little salesy. Okay. Now, is this all via text? Are you, are you messaging back and forth? Or are you getting on the phone? I'm using Facebook to initiate the message. And then I try to get them on a phone call. Okay, perfect. Right, who's, but, your up, who's your upline? Mr. Nolan. <laughs> okay, how many, how many calls have you been on with Nolan in Person X? Well, this is my next um, thing here. I've done 300 messages. I've only got five responses, and I only have three calls set up. Okay, it's okay. First of all, don't beat yourself up because that's negative okay. energy, right? Just right. Think, just, now just remove yourself from yourself, right? And right. look back in and say, wait a minute. If I'm beating myself up, I'm building momentum in a negative direction. Just think about the physics of this, right? So it just uh -huh. is. Now, if you've sent right. 300 messages, right, and you have five calls, I would get with Nolan and change your language a little bit. It's just telling you that you need to change the language okay. just a little bit. That's all that means. Okay. And a matter of fact, I would do it, I would only do 50 messages. And then I would gauge results. And if the results aren't favorable, it just means you need to change the words a little bit. Okay. Think about this, guys, right? Both Jesus and Hitler used nothing but the power of the word to move people into action. One was very destructive and one is still very constructive. But don't beat yourselves up. It's just, it, you're just learning. You're just learning. So I, I, would, have a I would get with Nolan with a little one-on-one -on -one and change the language a little bit. <clears throat> okay. All right? And he'll, he'll, gu he'll guide you right in. He'll guide you right in so you can just get on the phone on a three-way call with one of us and uh, we'll help you guys close the deals. Hey, Brian, uh, explain to them about dividing it. I posted it in the chat, but spacing it out makes a big difference. Yes, oh. yeah. Yeah, so what, um, yeah, Kathy gave you guys a text. You can see it there. Um, it's called uh, visual flow. It's from copywriting, visual and auditory flow. And you guys wanna do this in every text you do if you want somebody to read it, even to your kids or your spouse in every email too. You want to break things off into bite-sized pieces. So when she says here, hi, I'm just curious, dot, 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 there would be a space in the text. We don't really know each other, but a fellow networker, I wanted, oh, as a fellow networker, I wanted to reach out to you. Space. Let them digest from line, and the, each sentence is designed to pull them to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, to cause them to move into action. It's called visual flow. Does that make sense? Do that in your emails too. If anybody here ever gets a text from me, it's such a habit. You'll see that I'm like, 
break, 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 right? Call to action. The auditory flow is where you speak the text out loud before you send it and say, does this sound like a sales pitch or a conversation? Does this sound like me? If it sounds like a sales pitch, you probably got too many words and you just want to be conversation. Hey, listen, we don't know each other space, but I see you're in real estate, real estate space. <coughs> I work with people just like you, helping them bring their brand up space. I don't know if it'd be a fit or not, but I'd love to connect. Honestly, I'd love to learn more about you as well. Would it be okay if we got on a quick phone call at the chat? Right. You guys want to really up your game. My sales team and another company is starting to do this. They're sending video chats. If you, if you got the cojones to do it, they're sending video chats. They do a little bit of a research on the person. They see them married. They see they're in real estate. They see a few things and they'll do a video chat. You know how many of those get opened? Every single one All of them. All of them. Is, are they using, are they using dub? Uh, they're using the, the native things. If it's Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, you can, you can usually do oh, video gotcha. chats native on everything. What's, what's the thing you're talking about? Dub is for emails. So, but, but we'll talk about that later. I just got a text from a very special lady. Miss Evie says she has a question. So I wanted to open it up for Miss Evie. Miss Evie, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. I was trying to hop in, but I didn't, I don't think I was loud enough. So I just have a question. Is there a time that's appropriate when you just know somebody would just want to upload their bills, like they're 70 or something and you know they have bills, but you know they're not gonna be in network marketing or do I still go about it the same way? Well, number one, you never know that somebody's not gonna be in network marketing, so I would change your paradigm around that. Okay. I mean that honestly, with the, the, the top income earner in Isagenix is 96 he started network marketing at 73 and i think he's earned coming up on 100 million dollars he started network marketing at 73 years old so don't ever assume anybody's anything just get really good at peaking interest like nolan said it's either or either or right now you might approach somebody that's elderly knowing or or trying to help them with their bills and then sort of peak interest about the business but you don't know if they want to do it or not we never so know. That's the, the beauty of network marketing. You're always one person away from a thousand. Said me and Nolan didn't know each other. We only know each other through network marketing. That alone makes my entire network marketing journey worth it. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> Think about so, it. Like, never mind the money. Look at the family we got. Like, that's what you want to fall in love with. Yeah. Yeah. So there's not ever a time you would just say, hey, I found a company that uploads bills and can save you money. There's, that's not a good approach ever. Well, I mean, again, I would use the scripts. I would pay attention to the words we're using here. I wouldn't reach out that I say I found a company that can save you money. It's just very blank and vanilla. You know, I mean, ideally your customers, this is your best friend. This is your siblings. These are your closest friends. Your customers are your closest friends, relationship marketing. These are the people that you can say, listen, I have something I want to buy. You. I don't know if it's a fit or not. Well, let's get on a quick phone call. I'd love to chat. Might be able to help you out. So that's, that doesn't sound like a sales pitch, right? But if we're just going right to the savings, it's robotic and mechanical. I'm not saying it won't work. I'm just saying this is relationship marketing. So most of your customers should be your closest friends and family. That makes sense. Unless you're, when you get into the coal market, that's different. But when you get into coal market, the only thing I do in coal market is reach out for the business. I don't reach out for customers except for commercial. I'll, I only reach out to people like realtors, business owners, I, certain people I, read, I sort of zero in on and I send some language that's geared towards their, their industry and I show them the business and then it's an either or. If we get on a Zoom, we show them the business. Do you see the value? Do you want to explore what it would look like to work together in business? Or would you just rather be my customer? The average savings at $1,150 is no risk. So we get, we get customers, I think Nolan's doing the same thing. We get customers on the back end it's an either right. or, not a yes or a no. Thank Kathy. Hey, so, 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 so last thing I just want to add to that is that sales is a process. It's not an event. People feel like after you get that person on the phone, if they say no right now, it is a process. That's why it's very important to look at GoPro. If you look at GoPro, the, the language and the, the, the techniques that's used with your warm market 
meaning that they're going to take the call, don't give them enough time to ask too many questions and give them just enough to pique the interest. Let the third party tools do the work for you and then ask about the decision. But it's a whole layer of processes and I can literally send you, actually, that somebody just asked me for my number. Uh, I think John asked for my number. I'm going to put because I got a lot of people that call me or instead of Facebooking me and then asking me for my number, my number is 832-317-8359. That's 832-317-8359. And I, w- I want to thank people for saying all the kind words in the chat. Um, but I'm just letting you know, it's more of a process. So the people are your friends. So if they say no now, six months from now, they may say yes. They may start no now. In two months, they may upload their bills. And then two months after that, they may say yes. So it's just really about making sure that you know people are not thinking this is the, a whimsical thing that you're doing right now. Sometimes people want to watch and see your success and or your mindset on the whole thing and then just kind of go from there. So that's, that's kind of how I would play it. I love it. I love where it says Nolan for president too. I would, I would be your campaign manager. You ever, you ever decide to run, man? I will be, no, I will man. be the dude in your corner. <laughs> hey, so, and I'm good so, at what I do. We'll get there. <laughs> I have a quick so, question, look, Ryan. How do we send that form? Um, do we put our name and our number in it and then send it? Because I have some commercial people. I just, I would fill it out with them. If you look at the form, I would get them on the phone and ask them the questions and fill it out with them for them. That's what I would do. Okay, and then do you have an example of the commercial, you were talking about um, um, uh, dealerships earlier with multiple dealerships. I have a guy, he, um, they have like 20, and he said, he send, yeah, and he said he would send me um, my information to his um, CFOs and have them get a hold of me, and I haven't heard from them yet. I don't well, want to- but Well, that's the next thing you need to do is get that dude on the phone with me. Okay. We need, we need to explain just a little bit more, and I don't want you to do it because like I said, it's supposed to peak and pass. <laughs> yeah. Not right. for any other reason. Network marketing, you're, you're never the source. You're always the pointer. Point to videos, point to Nolan, point to me. You're always pointing, professional pointing. So, um, Hey, guys, speaking of uh, uh, GoPro, um, Nolan mentioned GoPro. Again, you guys, a lot of you know that we're uh, a bunch of us are going to the GoPro Mastery. Again, that's not for everybody. This is for people that are looking to be professional network marketers and really have a, a serious revenue stream. Uh, it's this December, 8, 9, and 10. A bunch of us are going. We got about... 20 tickets left out of 100. Um, I'll put that in the chat right now. It's in there. If you, you and or your team want to go, um, we're running out of tickets. And the reason why I do that, I, I, uh, I buy 100 tickets a year so that my team can go for half price. That's just the deal. And it's, uh, if, if you're leading and if you're building, um, I would strongly suggest you join us there. It's going to be a fun week in Vegas. Where a lot of us are taking the whole week from the 6th to the 13th. We already booked our flights. It's at the MGM Grand. We booked the hotel. The beautiful thing right now is everything is cheap, 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 right? So I would book it and just buy insurance if you're worried about it because you can really go there for pennies right now. And again, so this is, this is where I learned everything. Every, everything I know about network marketing uh, comes from this platform, the people here, the people I've met. It's where I met Bob Proctor. I mean, it's just, there's no really way to describe it. I know Joe, Joe, you've been, have you been a GoPro? Uh, you're talking about, yes, I have been. Yeah, yes. Was, was yes. Just last year. It was great. They That's had, right. Yeah. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of us there. So we're going to be Vive in Las Vegas. I know Nolan's already going. A whole bunch of you guys are already going. Matter of fact, who already, who here's already going? But I, I thought so. Yeah. Quite a few people. So, and again, it's not for everybody. It's, a, you know, if, if this is just a kind of a hobby and a little part time thing, that's fine. Um, but if you're looking to get to, you know, four figures a month, five figures a month, six figures a month, then that's a no miss event. So, Awesome, everybody. We'll make it a great week. Let's get in a high vibration. Now that you understand a little bit more about momentum, you create your own momentum every single day. If you want to be in momentum, create it. All right, guys, make it a great day. Be well and God bless. Take care. Have a good one, everybody.